Okay, now. That's a real treat. This is a, a real treat tonight. We have three marvelous singers on the show, and would you know how many times they have been nominated for Grammys between them? 45 times the total. Wow. And the albums they've all sold are in the multi-millions, and uh, I guess it's taken the ladies about 10 years to get this together where they wanted to work together, and uh, made an album called Trio, and it was well worth the time. The album is described as old-timey, but it's sensational. Would you welcome Linda Ronstadt, Dolly Parton, Emmy Lou Harris.
come prepared. <laughs> is good stuff well, that is you. really good we're very very proud of it it took us a long time to get it together but we it turned out yeah. to be exactly what we hoped it would and the fans seem to be accepting it a lot and uh, the reviews have been good so we couldn't be happier and Boy. we're happier we we're happy we, we got to come on your show bad. yeah <laughs> well uh, the harmony and the, the blend is just wonderful we gotta take a break we're gonna come back and talk a while there we are You just tuned in and you don't know these young ladies why you've been in a cave somewhere. <laughs> Dolly, Linda, and Emmy Lou. Well, let me show the back of the album, which, which I think is wonderful. Close up of that. I mentioned the music is. Two. You know? Look at it. Isn't that sweet? Two, could you just show, show the front once? It's, yeah, well, sure. I'll show the front. <laughs> I'm good. But I like that picture that has a. It's like the music. It's kind of sweet and innocent and of another quieter, of another like time. Well, yeah. we, we wanted this to sound very old fashioned. You yeah. know, we, we were great. Uh, 
fans and admirers of traditional music. Yeah. And I had 1907 somehow as a date in my brain for how, where I wanted it to start from, you know, where I thought. What date? 1907. So it only took us 80 years. Yeah. yeah. 80 so years together. 80 years to make the record, you know. I'd like it to be, you know, sound like it was 1907. We lived from 1907 to 1987. We sang the entire time. Right. <laughs> did you have any idea before you did this that you might go another direction uh, with, with the music? We had hoped that it would be what it turned out to be. Yeah. When we tried working on this about 10 years ago, we tried different varieties of things and songs that had more instruments and some yeah. more electric things. And the more we sang together and the more we listened to the simple stuff, we realized that we really should do the quieter, more acoustic, traditional things because our harmonies it's seem to sound so much better. great sound to it. Well, thank you. We've you guys have been doing interviews. I read a thing in the paper today. You've been doing <laughs> satellite interviews. You've been doing radio interviews. There's probably nothing you haven't been asked. <laughs> we should be prepared. So who, do you do you who do you like in the Leonard Hagler fight? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody ask you that yet? <laughs> no, they didn't ask us that. Any questions that get under your skin at all? Any of you? No, they just, uh, people are always asking, what's Johnny Carson really like? Oh, come like? on. <laughs> yeah, and we always say we... we and why don't you find out sometime? Yeah. You get around, so who knows I might be next. You get it. You get around. And I've been around too, that's right. Yeah. Uh, that's do they ask you personal questions about your personal life, Linda? They haven't. We've they been, haven't got we, any uh, we're such blabbermouths anyway, you know. We're so enthusiastic about this record and we're so excited about the music that right. it's hard to get us to shut up, yeah. Miami. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the safe yeah. spot down here. What, what, do, do all of you have kind of a, share a common background at all in any, any place along the way? In your upbringing? Emmy and I. <laughs> We're always well, trying to figure out who should talk I, when you get three women. Right. Well, uh, Dolly really is the person that has the, the real authentic background for this kind of music. Right. Um, and uh, Lyndon, I think, adopted it more. I mean, I think she probably had more music in, in growing up than I did. There really wasn't much music in my house. I, when I first heard Dolly Parton and more authentic singers and that, I, I just sort of decided that. You know, I would adopt it as my own and, and steal yeah. as much as I could from these people. And I'm having a great opportunity to do, do a lot of stealing now that yeah. I'm around Dolly. Today's Friday the 13th. Most people in the entertainment business have some kind of superstitions. I know they do in the theater. Anything you do before a show, any, they may sound silly, but any crazy superstitions? I don't know it's superstitious. I always say a little prayer in time before I go out to do, do the really? show. Yeah, I always have, I always do. I don't, so focused. Good so that, that wouldn't say that's super Jump in any time. Yeah, come on, you know. You've been talking all day, so come on. You mean a on. prayer to be good or the audience will like you or what? Yeah, the whole thing, that, that God will just bless the whole show and bless the audience and the yeah. lights and the sound and just kind of... Well, that's really you know, not a superstition. That's... No, I said I'm not sure it's superstitious, but I'm not really... Uh, I'm like Ed. I don't really like a black cat to run across the front of me, but um, uh, I, I don't Linda, really... Linda, how about you? In Mexico... 13 is a mystical number. The Aztecs and the Mayans always thought that 13 was the most lucky number you could have. And I'm Mexican, so it's a good day for me. <laughs> yeah, you see? Great. Some people fight it. They go the other way. Yeah. yeah. No, Emily Lou, any superstitions? I always like Fridays. <laughs> so that's how I like it. Girl who likes Fridays can't be all bad. How about you? Are you superstitious? No. Not a bit? No. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose if I was walking down a street, and I saw a ladder, and I had the option of walking under it and going around it. I suppose childhood would make you walk around it. You know, why take chances? You just get those things. You say you're not, but then you do those silly things anyway. What do you talk about when you're together? I mean, when you're not talking about music. Do you, you, you talk about guys, men? Of course. Marriage? Uh, bet. Love affairs? Anything like that? Don't look at me. I'm married. <laughs> We talk about makeup, we talk about hair, we... No, come on, I don't mean that. I mean... No, we talk about men, yeah, we talk about our problems, we Who do you talk about? Who, when you talk about men, who do you talk we about? We can't tell which men we talk about, we could get in trouble. We talk really? about you some. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but I think all women talk about men, you talk about your family, you talk about your memories, you talk about things you've gone through in your yeah. life. And, um, and we talk about our age and how we're getting the middle age spread and You're how it's no, not you, as you easy. Don't know, you, well, I've this is an amazing transformation. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Yeah. This is well, thank you. It took me about 40 years to, you know, to get my 
uh, self together, but I mean, I, I love to eat and all, but I think when you turn the age, we're all about the same age, and I think when you're at that age, you talk a lot about uh, that wisdom comes with age, and hopefully yeah. we're all a little smarter than we used to be, so we're just really typical girls, typical women, we talk about everything. Yeah. For me, it's just, it's the luxury of being able to have played with people that I know and admire for 20 years, you know, I mean, I turned around, I saw those guys in the band, Herbie and David Lindley and all those guys, and we, backing, we've known them the forever, and we, they're still the best, you know, I mean, they're better even than they were 20 years Say ago. Say all but. their names, because they're terrific. Herbie yeah. Peterson, yeah. Yeah. Uh, John Starling, we should... <laughs> you said, well, we you talked about John Starling a lot. John Starling was playing rhythm guitar in the band. John Starling is an ear, eye, nose, and throat surgeon who's also a fantastic country western singer and singer of bluegrass and a musician. Most good surgeons are. Yes, I know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, his favorite song is Digging Up Bones. <laughs> Uh, he's, uh, he had a lot to do with our album, with helping us pick songs and uh, help us with vocal arrangements and just in general uh, being able, we were able to right. bounce songs off him and everything. Yeah. And then we have Herb Peterson, yeah. who's, you know, like a great harmony singer who's, uh, you know, even when we do, do our own harmony, we'd get Herbie's thumb of approval right. and he did a couple of them for us. Oh, David yeah. Lindley, who's the greatest picker ever, yeah. Lee Sklar, who, the human and, fur ball. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Mark <laughs> O'Connor, who plays just about everything. Yeah. And uh, Steve Fischel from Emmy's yeah. band. Yeah, he's yeah. placed Obro and Pedal Steel in my band. And Russ Kunkel, who's yeah. probably one of the only will allow this yes. with us. Yeah. When we come back. And you're going to go back, you're going to do another cut in the album, but uh, you wanted to mention something. You're going to go on a tour, or what, what is it? Uh, We'd like you, to. You've been a performer. We're, we're trying to find some time to put together a, a road show yeah. and maybe sell a special to HBO. They're interested in that. So if we can find the time amongst our busy schedules... Why don't you all go down and perform at your uh, place in... Uh, at Dollywood, Dollywood, we're hoping we to. to. Yeah, sure. we open uh, May the 1st, and I've been trying to get them to come down and sing with me. And if they can't come during the opening, we're open all summer, so they'll be down. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Somebody stole the album, but I'll get one later. Once again, here, Dolly, Lynn, and Emmy Lou. Ladies. Just waiting for a train to pass by What will become of the hobo Whenever it's time comes to die There's a master up yonder in heaven Got a place that we might call our home Where we have to work for a living Or can we continue to roam Will there be any freight trains in heaven Will they tell us that we cannot ride? Will the hobo chum with the rich man? Will we always have money to spare? Will they have respect for the hobo in that land that lies hidden? Of Great 
Will they tell us that we cannot ride? Will the hobo chum with the rich man? In that land that lies hidden up there. Come and the album. Yeah, it's the weapon. Stole the weapon. I'll stay here. We'll be back with George Hammond.